we guess Cupid didn't stop by the White House this year. President Donald Trump and First Lady Melania Trump took to Twitter on Valentine's Day, Wednesday, February 14, to offer their condolences to the lives lost in the tragic Florida high school shooting. But they didn't make an effort to send each other some V-Day love, and Americans are not having it. Many criticized the couple for ignoring the holiday, and one another, on social media. OMG WTF why didn't you guys wish each other a happy Valentine's Day? One tweeter asked, while another wrote, Wow it is so sad that you guys didn't post for each other on Valentine's Day. Even the Obamas wrote something to each other. Shame on you. Speaking of former POTUS Barack Obama and his wife, Michelle Obama, several other Twitter users suggested that the Trump's love for each other pales in comparison. It's clear that Donald and Melania don't love each other as much as the Obamas, stated one critic, while another urged Melania, 47, to divorce 71-year-old Donald, whom she wed in 2005, just divorce him already Mel. It's clear that you want to get out of the marriage. You didn't even wish him a happy V-Day. Donald and Melania's lack of Valentine's Day love comes weeks after In Touch published an on-the-record 2011 interview with the president's former mistress, Stormy Daniels, who divulged details about her steamy 2005 affair with the ex-celebrity apprentice host. In her account, the porn actress, 38, admitted that she felt bad for Melania. At the time, I didn't think that much about it, she explained. But now that I have a baby that's the same age that his was at the time, I'm like, wow, what a d, k. I feel bad. It didn't occur to me at the time. When the affair was happening, Donald and Melania's son, Baron Trump, was still just an infant. From the beginning, Stormy was much more concerned about Melania's feelings than Donald was. When Stormy asked him about her, he allegedly said, oh, don't worry about her and quickly changed the subject. Of Donald's alleged indiscretions, Stormy concluded, Karma will always bite you in the A. Most people wouldn't describe Omarosa Manigault Newman as nice, but on a recent episode of Celebrity Big Brother, the former White House aide only had good things to say about Melania Trump. Omarosa was asked by housemate Ross Matthews what she really thought of the First Lady, and she did not hold back. I don't understand why people don't think that she's sharp, she said on the reality competition. She speaks so many different languages. She's sharp. She went on to say Melania has impeccable taste when it comes to her interior design skills and agreed with Ross, who called the Slovenian beauty gorgeous. While Omarosa seems to be Melania's biggest fan, she definitely isn't supporting her old boss Donald Trump anymore telling the cameras she wouldn't vote for the former reality star again in a million years. Too little too late, huh Omarosa? I felt like I was serving my country, not serving him, she explained. I was haunted by tweets every single day, like what is he going to do? Omarosa also warned Americans about Vice President Mike Pence, adding, we would be begging for days of Trump back if Pence became president, that's all I'm saying. Please subscribe channel. Thank you for watching.